Ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas to everyone from Spurs Debate TV. We're going to get into the analysis, the goals, the stats, the fixtures, the results, and everything you need to know over the next few minutes. Analyzing Tottenham Hotspur 3 versus Crystal Palace 0. 26 December Boxing Day gift from the Tottenham family to us. Let's look at the lineup 3 4 2 1. Jaffet Sanganga coming in to replace Ben Davis, who has a nice little rest over Boxing Day. Tanganga did perform okay. You can see the ratings there Emerson Royale, Lucas Mora, Hungminson, Harry Kane, and Regulon doing the damage. And they were a constant threat in Palace's defence and midfield. We'll go through that shortly. Tottenham, six wins unbeaten in the Premier League, starting with that draw with Conte coming in. It's been a win, win, win with two dropped points against Liverpool. But it's all been home form. We do have some tough fixtures, which I'll get into later. But our home form's been fantastic. And we're absolutely smashing it with the goals and clean sheets. Harry Kane with the first goal. Lucas Mora. Wilfred Zaha getting sent off with two yellows, which I will be discussing soon. Hung Min Son finishes it off, and it was pretty much one-way traffic from that second goal. Once Palace went down 2-0, Zaha lost his head, Palace lost their head, and they lost the three points. All the action pretty much was in the Palace half. 79% pretty much in and around the Palace midfield and defence. Only 21% in Tottenham's box. We controlled it, we managed it, we dominated throughout bar that first five minutes all the goals coming from the right hand side and we outnumbered them in all departments first half let's have a look at it total shots on target four palace offered nothing big chances three we scored two of them missed one with those two goals and you'll see here the first half was wrapped up pretty quickly the red card changed the game for palace they had to make a substitution. Second half, 70% over Palace is 30. Two shots on target, zero Palace. Big chances, one Sonny's goal. And we pretty much outnumbered them, like I say, in every way, shape or form. There's no way Palace can argue that it shouldn't have been four or five. It's a shame it wasn't, but we'll take three nil. We outpassed them. Accurate passes, 91%, fantastic. Long balls, fantastic. Crosses, brilliant. Dribbles, duels won, aerial duels won, tackles, interceptions, clearances. Tottenham pretty much mopping up and putting in a real committed performance with a bit of everything. A great home win. Son's first chance early on was setting the tone really of what was to come here. You can see Palace, two defenders, three Tottenham players not marked. Tottenham would win the ball back on the counter transition, feed one of the quick players and we'd attack and that was basically the feature of the night is get it into Son, Mora, Regulon, Kane and make things happen here you can see Son with a long shot fantastic effort going bottom left keeper saves it Regulon was bombing down this left all afternoon big up to Regulon didn't get in on the goal sheet but it was a massive part of the win creating a lot of uncertainty Regulon with the cross here Lucas Mora in the first half should have put this away easier to miss than score god knows how he's missed there no one marking him nothing to worry about time and space unfortunately Mora misses it but look the, the crystal palace defending was all over the place and we'll see that and we can see a hoiberg in the box one of conte's changes has to get is to be to get hoiberg up there to get skip up there to get regulon up there we really are packing the box every time we win the ball the Tottenham players bomb up there and here Lucas Moore should have scored. He's a great header of the ball, but he missed on that occasion. Let's look at the first goal. Pierre dictating in midfield, cuts out three Palace players with a fantastic, powerful long pass into Mora. You can see to his left, he's got Emerson there waiting. There was a lot of telepathy in this performance. Everyone knew what they was doing. Everyone was waiting to counter transition. And here... You see Regulon at the bottom, the top of his head. He's bombing on, leaving his man every time. Hungmin Son and Harry Kane, nice and close to each other, ready to pounce. Hungmin Son waiting for that ball in. Harry Kane waiting. Lucas Moura quick out to Emerson. And then it's about Lucas Moura here. He absolutely burns his man, a bit like Pierre in the game against West Ham. Pass and move. And you see here Tottenham's feature has been to pass and move into Emerson, Mora leaves two Palace defenders and now it's about can he outrun the Palace defenders. You've got five Palace against three Tottenham. 
you'd expect Palace to mop up with the numbers, but the pace leaves three Palace defenders behind, leaving us four against two. This is all about pace and power. Kane being the slowest man in the picture here, but probably the best finisher. And we'll see here, Lucas Moura has three options in Kane, Son and Regulon. This has got goal written all over it. He squares it to Kane. The old Harry Kane may have taken a pass, pulled it back, dragged it into Son. Potential offside, Regulon potential offside, but no, he doesn't. Harry Kane is back. The confidence is back. The swagger is back. And the killer instinct is definitely back. He puts his laces through that right foot. 1-0 Spurs and deservedly so. The second goal here, Lucas Moura starts this and finishes this. This is all about Lucas Moura. So he gets the ball here into Harry Kane, out to Emerson. And it's the same pattern of play. You see it, Regulon on the left, Sonny in the middle, Harry Kane receiving and delivering. Harry Kane then making that run. And you can see here, Emerson, fantastic from Regulon and Emerson, both giving us width and pace and space. And once Emerson gets the ball, you can see Lucas making that run. He hasn't given up. He's passed it to Kane and he's absolutely put the gas on. He's going to join Son and Regulon up there and again outnumber the Palace defence. And once Emerson's got it, he's got a Palace, a couple of Palace defenders there going across the box for Son is an option. Going back post for Regulon, he's got his hand out yelling for the ball is an option. But he decides to find his country Brazilian teammate. And he looks for the dink in the box. Perfect cross. And this is all about Lucas Moura jumping. Hang time. Michael Jordan style. Header on the ball. Bullet header. And you can see there it's a three on one situation. Tottenham outnumbering Palace every time on the attack. They couldn't live with Moura. They couldn't live with Son. And they couldn't live with Regulon. And here you see Lucas Moura jumping. Cristiano Ronaldo. Eat your heart out. He's got the nitrous oxide there straight into the back of the Palace defender. Some may call that a foul. I don't see that as a foul. He's going for the ball and he scores well before the Palace man hits the ground. Palace not defending in strength and in numbers. And again, you'll see from here, that is definitely not a foul. Header on the ball. Sonny and Regulon waiting for that tapping. Conte really has Tottenham running at speed with energy, with enthusiasm. But the great thing is we're not open at the back, we're solid. Pierre joining in, Skip joining in, really is a joy to watch. Here we see Sanchez being fouled for violent conduct. I think this is a straight red, but he gets a second yellow. Two hands in his face, no need to do that. Sanchez hasn't retaliated, he hasn't done anything. He's lost the ball and he's off, second yellow. And we'll see here the old Harry Kane. This was great to see and expect Harry Kane to be scoring and assisting a lot more in the next few weeks and the rest of the season. Son into Kane, one off the training ground. Kane right foot, mid-air, just over the bar there. That would have been a great goal. And Harry Kane is definitely getting back to his old self. Here we see Sanchez for the third goal. Anticipates, wants it, committed, not marked. No one close to him. No one causing him a problem. Sanchez into him. He sees to his left Harry Kane. He sees Emerson. There's options there, left, right and centre. And what does Sanchez do? Doesn't mess around. Straight into Pierre. Pierre, no more touches. Straight out to Harry Kane. And again, we're on the attack. You can see one, two, three, four, five. And another Palace defender on the right there. They can't keep up with the Tottenham fast passing. Quick interplay, exchange of passes, no sideways, straight out and into Harry Kane. He gets fouled, but he manages to do so well out of it. Rolls the ball into Lucas Moore. And we'll see here, Lucas Moura has options with Regulon's pace, Son's pace coming in. Puts that ball across the box. It might have been a tad too early. So what he does, he takes his time. Sonny, at this moment, is beating his man. Beats one. You've got the Palace defender circled in red. Doesn't see Hung Min Son. Doesn't anticipate. Sonny too quick. And now this is about the cross and the delivery. Can Lucas Moura cross that ball in time for Sonny to make sure he's onside? And that's exactly what he does. And there you can see three Palace defenders. I have no idea what's going on. None of them can deal with Sonny. One of them is yelling. The other one's planted in the ground. And you can see there, I think that's Stevie B making that late run. At the back post, everybody anticipating, everybody being positive. 
And this is all about Hung Min Son. How many times have we seen him on that first touch, side foot finish, very difficult to score from there. That can go wide or over the bar. Three Palace defenders watching on and Hung Min Son does what Hung Min Son does best. Pace, power and finish in the back of the net. Game, set and match. And we see here we've moved up the table. Our goal difference is plus two. 29 points with three games in hand against Arsenal and Chelsea. We really do have a shout for top four. We do have to keep winning. We do have to keep up that form. But there is one slight kink in our armour. And that is our waveform. Our home form is brilliant. We're third in the league. 22 points out of 10. Arsenal joint with us. Man City with the better home form. Got better home form than Liverpool, Chelsea, West Ham, Man United. But we do need to start picking up points on the road. You will see here Tottenham, 13th place on away form. Not good enough. Yes, we played six games re less than the rest. But we should be around that 7th, 6th, 5th mark. Hopefully in a couple of weeks. Once we've played catch up. And if we can win our away games. Looking at the next few games. We've got Southampton away, Watford away. If we win those, we creep up that table nicely. Make a push for third. We then got the big one, North London Derby. And then Chelsea away, London Derby. Two difficult games. If we can beat Southampton and Watford, we can potentially overtake both those teams above us towards the end of Jan. Come on, you Spurs. Subscribe, share and like. I'll see you after Southampton. And then we've got Watford on New Year's Day. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Your man of the match. For me, it was Lucas Moura. But Regulon, Sonny, Kane and Emerson take a lot of credit. Pierre and Skip having a fantastic game. Come on, you Spurs.